Hey everyone, it's Rainbow Rage, and I'm going to talk to you today about making pony eyes. Um, so, in this we're going to use gradients and the clip feature. Uh, I've made tutorials on both of those already. I'm going to cover them again briefly, but if you uh, just want a more detailed explanation, you can check out my other tutorials on that. Uh, so, as far as eyes go, uh, they're... They're pretty simple, but they're a lot different than the rest of the pony, and they got a lot of parts to them, so I could see why it might be intimidating at first. Uh, but but once you uh, understand the steps and done a few, it'll you'll be uh, pumping them pumping them out like nothing. Uh, so uh, we start out with the white. Now, in general, not always, but usually. Uh, it's, it's all going to be made with uh, ellipses, so we're not going to use the path tool because that'll look ugly. We're going to use the ellipse tool and just uh, make an ellipse. Try to line it up and lo lower the opacity a bit so we can see what we're doing. And then we just select tool. We'll use our transform handles to kind of line it up. Might need to. We we'll usually need to rotate it a bit. Try to sort of get it in place. And there's a lot of just guessing and checking. You know. Just gotta keep trying until you get it right. Okay, okay, so I got it pretty good there. Uh, of course, it'll end up bleeding up over the top and bottom, uh, but uh, we'll deal with that later. Um, if you do this, it's pretty simple, although it might take you a little bit to get it. If you do want to cheat, you can always uh, convert to path. Uh, I don't like using this because it, you know, it it ends up looking, looking ugly. You're not you're not gonna get a nice ellipse if you do this. Um, uh, so I I don't generally like to do this, but you do have the option there if you <laughs> really want to. However, using Inkscape if you want to cheat legitimately, uh, you can use an extension called the Ellipse by Five Points. Um, the guy who who uh, wrote this extension made a pretty good tutorial video. I'll link that in, this, in the description, so I, I won't explain it thoroughly right now. Uh, but just a brief overview. Basically, you throw down five points, run the extension, and you'll have a nice ellipse in the shape you want it. Uh, so you have that available to you. I highly recommend it if you're using Inkscape. Uh, so once we have the eye white, it's the same process for the uh, iris. We will be using a gradient here eventually, but I'll use black so I can see what I'm doing. This has a placeholder color. Let's rotate that a bit. Yeah, just because we got a little sliver here, the extension won't work as well. Um, but of course, it's a lot easier to position the gradient. Uh, so now we want to gradient. So I've already set up the colors here for this, so I can just grab them directly from my palette. Uh, but if you haven't, if you don't have them already set up, you can just as easily use the dropper to uh, get the colors that you need. Uh, so once we've uh, yeah, set up our gradient at either point, uh, and it's time to do the highlights. So let's again drop our opacity so we can see what we're doing. Uh, the highlights are always going to meet at one point inside the pupil. And there's going to be triangles from out of, outside of there. Like our first one. And then uh, for the second one, because they are supposed to be at the same point, I just like to create a duplicate of it with Control D. And then drag the outer points into position. You always want to have it overlapping a bit because Inkscape doesn't like it when two objects share the same same path. Um, and of course, put the right color on. Okay, so on the inside, we don't need to worry about how it going way in there because uh, the pupil will cover it up. On the outside, we do need to deal with it though. Um, so it's just a simple clip. 
you want to group your two highlights together, create a clone with Alt-D, select the original, you hold down Alt, you can choose what's underneath, and then uh, group that together with your highlights, and then use apply the clip, and there you go, it's nice and flush. On the pupil, just another ellipse, like always. 99% of the time you're working with ellipses on your eye. And pupil's just pure black. And your shines. Throw them in there. Uh, important thing to note with the shines, uh, they'll have the same orientation on both eyes. So, you know, don't make them reverse. When you do your second eye. Okay, let's take a look at that. There we go, that's that's a nice eye. Well, not quite. We still need to create a clip here to keep it contained. So, uh, best way to do this, I've found, is to actually use the eye white as your clip path. Uh, now, if uh, the if you know the pony you're doing isn't squinting at all, you can just straight up use your eye white as your clip path. In this case, uh, we have to uh, contain it within where we actually want the eye. But it's the same process. You create a duplicate. Now, if we want to shrink it down, the way to do that is here. You use uh, convert to path down points within the boundary that you'll be containing it in. And then just oh crap. Okay. Uh, make sure these are corner points and not smooth. And just get your path inside. Once your path is completely contained, uh, we can group all the objects we want to clip together, and set clip, and there you go. There's your eye. Uh, so. Yeah, just a lot of a lot of different parts uh, to work with, and especially since you're doing a lot of grouping and everything. And in Inkscape, I find it easiest to do it all in one layer. Uh, I've tried it using different layers for all the different objects, but I find it much easier to just do it in one layer. So there's that. Uh, as always, if there's anything specific you want me to do a tutorial on, let me know. See what I can do, and uh, hopefully, I can get another one up next week. I'll see you guys later.